I see a number of hands in, in Orlando, so maybe we'll come over there. Right here, yes. Hi, uh, John Furrier with SiliconANGLE. Thanks uh, for having us again, uh, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, one of the things, and that last question was uh, some of my question about the database, and one of the things we're finding here in the Cube this week is extracting out that there's a misconception that it's not just a database, HANA. There's more to it. So the question is, and the other thing that we found out uh, is it's not just for large SAP companies mm -hmm. that have your stuff. It's maybe new business. Uh, opportunities. So can you guys elaborate on those new business opportunities, maybe any competitive displacements around, say, Oracle, or and then just Greenfield new opportunities? Because analytics is capturing the world by storm. Big data is, is mainstream. You guys have been kind of hiding behind that, not putting that out forward enough, I, in my opinion, but I want to get your take on new opportunities. So I think that's a great question, and I think the biggest misperception at the beginning was that HANA is for SAP stuff. And, and you just mentioned that as well. The first customers using HANA were using HANA for data that would never go in an SAP system. Exactly. Like DNA data in healthcare or seismic data in oil and gas exploration. This is not typical ERP stuff. <laughs> and HANA proved its value. And, and these examples we have, we have customers who prove 100,000 times faster response times on HANA. They are all in the category of non-SAP, big problems to solve, now solvable. And I see three um, applications for this. There's the traditional SAP where we can rep radically accelerate and reduce costs of ownership at the same time. Then you have these optimization opportunities, which is all about business, predictive analytics, big data. And then I think there's a whole, the third category, which is about solving problems that so far were unsolvable. And we are pursuing all three of them. So you're right, HANA is much more than a database. I, I try to argue it's a unified next generation platform for business and can do all these three things. Yesterday in my keynote, I had a company by the name of Under Armour on the panel. And he went from 281 million to you know, a few billion because he could expand on a common platform globally. And when he adds new categories of business, it simply snaps on to a common platform and everybody knows what to do and it scales. I had a meeting with the CEO yesterday and this is a very common conversation. He grew his business by acquisition and now he's got a federation of a whole bunch of companies and he feels like a holding company. What he wants to do is consolidate these businesses onto a common platform. He won't do it overnight because you can't shut down businesses, but the vision over the next few years is consolidate everything onto one common SAP platform and take all the databases out and standardize everything on HANA because he loves the vision of not just transactional information, that's great, but it's the wisdom of the crowds that he's going to get from social and the predictive analytics that's built right into HANA. So now he's got a real-time business. He can get it on a common platform. Everybody will have a common mobile architecture. And the vision is to put it into the HANA enterprise cloud and let SAP run it. That is a very common conversation that we're having right now. And they're very disillusioned out there by the alternatives because they may you know, have been best to breed in their day, but now they figured out years later, they may be best, but they never breeded. And the McLaren story is, is similar, right? They start with the business suite, they are running their company. But then we do a Formula One HANA-based app that's not a typical enterprise application. No. It takes data from 140 sensors on a car and gives you the ability to change outcomes during a one and a half hour race. Now for that you need real timeness. And, and, and the decision they made now is to say, okay, I'm running my business on SAP. A Formula One car changes its bill of material in average every 20 minutes. That's how fast they change the engineering of every car. Otherwise, they cannot keep up with competition. And so you run that complexity on SAP, on HANA. And now you just extend that HANA to include all this other data from the cars. And you build new apps on top that solve different problems. One platform, all problems solved for Beautiful. a company. And by the way, they brought that into the HANA Enterprise Cloud. Right. Because they don't want to deal with infrastructure. They want to deal with cars and, and competition in Formula One races.